welcome back. Um, I'm gonna be doing some work today. Shock horror, I know. Um, but I'm gonna be attempting the tiling at the back of the uh, the kitchen area here. So, and my handy assistant. Yes, handy assistant. <laughs> I'm the help. <laughs> um, no, we're gonna. So basically, we're ready to tile. So the window is all framed out and the cladding's up. Um, so we did film that, so this, in a minute I'll put uh, how to frame out the windows in, but we have to go back quite some time for that when there's still like panel and mm -hmm. insulation everywhere. So we'll put that in and then once once that's done, so you know how to frame those out, Emily's going to have a go at doing the tiling. Um, and yeah. Yes. Yeah. This video is dedicated to Paul, he will understand why when he sees it. Um. <laughs> I love all your comments Paul, thanks. Thanks. Right, windows. Um, so one of the questions we got asked the most about our last van was how we did the windows. So I'm going to do a quick video, well I say quick, it'll probably be like 20 minutes. A um, quick video of how I'm going to frame this window because I can't insulate anymore until I've got all this framing in. Uh, so what I've done, because uh, obviously you can't fix it to there, so I've been out and I've just bought some cheap uh, pine or whatever this is, for like 12 quid. Uh, it's wider than what I need. so. What I've done is I've cut two short pieces, uh, the length of what the sides are going to be, and then a long piece plus the thickness of that twice, so that sits over that. And then because it's not going to run, I don't want it sticking out this far because my cladding up here is going to sit like quite far back, so that's, that's sticking out too much. But obviously when I get to the bottom, the gap is wider, so I'm going to cut them at the angle of the van. Uh, then follow them down and then the, the bottom one I'll stick out a little bit more anyway. So what I've done is I've run a straight edge because my cladding is going to run on these uprights. Uh, I'll be putting another one in here in a minute. Um, so I've put that there and then drawn a line down the back of it uh, and that will give me this line and that will be the back edge of my cladding. So I know that the back edge of my cladding is going to come there. My cladding's then 8mm, so I need to add on 8mm. And then I want it to stick out a little bit further than the cladding, so I reckon that's going to be about another 4mm overhang. So then what I've done is I've measured 12mm from the back of my cladding out, and that's where I'm going to want to, to cut this board at that angle. So yeah, it's pretty simple really. And then what I'll do once that's done is I'll put in my uprights for my decking, uh, for my decking, for my cladding, and then I can screw this to my uprights from this side so that you won't see any screws. So this is what you'll end up with. Um, so this is my line that I'm going to be cutting along. That's where my cladding is going to finish. So it will sit in between the two. And then I've just marked for the, the top piece that's going to run along the top of the window. I'm going to decide that's going to sit out just a touch. So I've just marked up both those as well. Um, also, what I've just realised is as long as, the, as as well as this angle running down the van, there's also an angle running along the top of the van. So when I come to cut this top piece, I need to accommodate that angle slightly. It's only a couple of mil uh, across the whole length, but I'll need to accommodate that. So yeah, I'm going to cut this, take this apart, cut both pieces, screw it back together, and then try off it again. Just waiting for Louise to clamp everything together and get it all ready so she can cut it all. Really boring actually. Right, okay, so what I've done is I cut those two. And then to get the this piece to sit relatively straight, you'll then need to get a square against the piece that you've cut at an angle and run that back across to bring that up, otherwise your whole window will sit slightly out. Um, so I didn't film that because well, I just didn't. Um, and then what I've done is I've cut this piece, I've cut it longer than what I want, uh, so that I can use this as a guide to work out exactly where I want it. So somewhere I've got one a piece of cladding, this is the cladding we're going to use, this is the only bit I've got, so 
roughly uh, with this cladding coming in for the kitchen will be painted white and we'll paint these windows this colour uh, but the cladding will finish sort of there leaving me a little lip and then for this piece I want this to stick out a bit more but I also want it to come just past just past the window so I can now mark off so I want to cut it there and the same on this side my cladding is going to sit roughly there going up the window so I've got a slight overhang and then what I want the window sill to do is come past and sort of a curvature on that corner and then that will meet up with the cladding so I need to set that back 8mm ready for when I clad it so I'm going to mark those up and cut those out now um, screw it all together and then I can work out where I need the battens to support the whole thing because that bit of masking tape isn't going to cut it Okay, so that's the bottom piece cut uh, and done. And so the idea being that once I fix these pieces in, um, my cladding, bear with me, will come along and it will just butt up to the window there, giving me just a, a little bit sticking out. And then for this piece down the bottom, cladding will just sit in behind there. So I'll end up with a, like a proper windowsill really. Um, and that marries up on the other end and that will do the same thing uh, so I'm going to take all this out now um, I'm going to take a bit of sandpaper tidy that window frame up probably age it a little bit uh, beat the crap out of it and then um, yeah, stain that up and like I said it's going to be white cladding that comes up to it and it will be similar on the top we'll just have a whole run of this obviously going all the way along so I think once the cladding's on it it will look look all right uh, but yeah we'll see and then we're going to tile up to up to underneath so I'll run another baton across here to support the ply that the tiles are going to be sitting on uh, but yeah as far as window frames go it's pretty easy it's just working out the angles but if you're doing a van you're going to have to get used to angles because nothing is square or straight and of course you're parked on off ground so you can't really use a level or or do it that way uh, so I'm going to do something similar uh, for the rear window down there and I'm not sure about the the window on the sliding door yet so yeah that's it So I'm using Osmo oil, uh, we're going to use the same product for the cladding as well, I really like it, it's, it's completely natural. Um, this is quite dark, but the reason I like it is because this is just cheap crappy timber from the timber shop and this stuff really picks out the grain, so I'm going to try and, I've left the piece, I'll try and film it so you can see what I mean. This is walnut, um, but they do a whole range of colours and this is uh, a wood wax finish, so if you're looking for something similar that's what you want to be looking for. Right, it might wobble a bit and the light in here is terrible but so that's the timber's natural colour and then just watch how it really picks up that grain in the wood So we're going with these like mosaic tiles, uh, basically they're just held together with this mesh on the back 
and we don't want them at that height we need them at exactly half uh, so they're really easy that you just cut them with a, a standing knife <laughs> so what Emily's going to do is she's going to get it all cut and then we're going to lay them out and then work out which ones we need to cut uh, to make the least amount of cuts as, as possible. So it turns out the tiles are a bit of a pain to cut. So the tile snips will work just fine for like the, the stone parts, but the glass parts I had to use a, a grinder. And it's still not perfectly neat, but I think once Emily gets the grout in, she'll be able to cover that up. So Emily had to go and buy a bucket for her tiling. And this is the bucket she returned with. <laughs> what? It was on offer in Tesco's. It even says on it, it's a crap bucket. <laughs> So we're going to try the flexible adhesive, see if it works. Um, yeah, you can see it. Uh, obviously, because it's a moving van, the adhesive needs to be able to move a certain amount with it. So we'll give it a go. Oh, you're faffing. I can't believe you're nagging. Gently, or it'll go puff. Right, so this is where we're at. Uh, the tiles are in. Done a grand job, haven't you? Yes. Um, can I just say though, this mess that you've made, look, look at the state of it. Don't I don't know how you work in such a shit heap. Coming from you. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, we're gonna let the adhesive dry now and then um, it'll be ready for grouting. What color grout did you get? Like some sort of weird gray Grave, color? Think, yeah. Okay. So yeah, but that adhesive is going off pretty quick, so... It is indeed. Yeah, by this afternoon we should be able to get the... Yeah. Well, you will. So, um, we put the tiles on, it's all dry, and so far they're staying on. So, um, we're just about to do the grouting now. I'm using this stuff here um, it's a flexible grout uh, Louise did tell me why but I think because of the vibrations and stuff like that um, and it's <laughs> and it's silver grey so um, I didn't want white just because of the colour of the tiles and stuff so hopefully again I'm not very good about getting the mixture right so we'll have to uh, try it and see
so that's it we've done all the tiling um we've put the silicon on the silicon is absolutely disgusting just gets everywhere um but yeah no it's all done siliconed in sink is siliconed in as well um emily's siliconed in <laughs> i've got it all over the place <laughs> yep it's everywhere i hate it it's disgusting um and my hands are feel absolutely minging because of the white spirit to get off the silicone that goes everywhere someone's done a day's work yeah i have i hope you're appreciative of this paul <laughs> <laughs> are you done yeah, I'm done. Yeah. yeah okay guys thanks for watching um hopefully uh the tiling and the framing out the window will help you um please Maybe. hit the i did do the tiling so You've done a blinding job. I know, right? I know. That's all right. Um, yeah, please hit the subscribe button and uh, ding the bell. Um, yeah, and uh, what's next? We've done that, haven't we? Is it not the AJ's? No, video-wise. Stuff we've done. We plumbed in the sink, so uh, there's yes. a, there'll be a plumbing video. The drawers. And yeah, we started a garage under the bed, so yeah, they'll be coming soon. Yes. Bye!